Tokusatsu is known for its hero action. While the big stunts and action scenes are performed by trained stuntmen and women inside the suits, the actors themselves join in an occasion. No matter how safe you try and be and how rehearsed the choreography is, accidents will happen. Today we'll be talking about some of those, from the life-threatening incidents to some of the more minor ones. Let's start with one of the oldest and most well known. Back in the 70s, the actors themselves took part in the stunts and were expected to get some knocks and bruises now and then. During one scene, in amidst the filming of one of the last shots of episode 10, Fujioka was riding his motorcycle and collided with a wire attached to a yellow telephone pole. He came off the bike and received a compound fracture of the left leg at the fire. Fujioka was rushed to hospital and was looking at three to six months recovery time. So his ADR work from episode 9 onwards was done by Goro Naya's brother, Ryoko Naya, and episode 11 to 13, he simply only appeared in suit. Toei came together to create a replacement character, Hayato Ichimonji, who would become Kamen Rider 2. Fujioka would eventually return in episode 40. If you want to check out where it happened on Google Maps, click on the link in the description below. In episode 20, Vacuum Dimension was targeting newly wedded couples, using wind attacks to blow objects at its enemies. To lure him out, Guy and Kaori go undercover in full costume and hold a fake wedding, a standard story in Sentai. In the ensuing fight, Toshihide Wakamatsu was hit on the head by a bench, causing him to collapse, and his head began to bleed after the take finish. There was still more action to film, so he continued on, and in between takes, the cast held bags of ice on his head. During a break, he got the chance to go to the clinic and get seen by a doctor, all while still wearing his white suit, now covered with red spots. If you want to hear the full story in his own words, check out our interview with Black Kondo himself in the description below. And thankfully now he sees the funny side to it. In episode 2, when Tenma Ranger's Air Hamada is trying to infiltrate onto the ship that Gomara are using, the actor himself climbed under a middle bridge that was raised above water. After the director shouted cut, the rope snapped that he was holding onto and fell into the ocean. Thankfully he wasn't injured and the scene itself was only a few seconds long. While filming the movie Hurricane vs. Garo Ranger, Hurricane Red's Shun Shioya was in an unrelated road accident and broke his arm. He was required to wear a sling for a short time, so the injury was incorporated into the story itself. In episode 20, Ban must run from location to location, defusing bombs before they are set off. In one scene at a recognisable river, he would have to run across as fast as he could. In real life, Ryuji Sayune is unable to swim, and while filming, he fell into the river, nearly drowning, and was rescued by his partner, Deka Blue's Tsuyoshi Hayashi. He would later tell the town in an interview entitled My Hero Hayashi-san. Lol. Some injuries happen even before filming starts. Manpei Takagi, Geki Ranger's Geki Blue, fell onto his face during training by accident and broke his nose. He saw the funny side to it, stating, It doesn't matter if I broke my nose, I still have things I need to do. And this is also a good life experience. Before filming, and while training for Kamen Rider Decade, Masahiro Inoue became so frustrated by his inability to perform moves that he overexerted himself and ended up pulling a muscle in his hamstring. Due to this, he performed the entire first episode with a sore leg, saying, Even though walking was just difficult, I had to run, even if it killed me. It's not just stunts or action practice that has caused injuries to tokusatsu actors. Game's Kamen Rider Baron, Yukata Kobayashi, who openly admits that he's not particularly good at sports or other basic physical activities, let alone action, once twisted not one, but both of his ankles while walking in the Helheim forest after taking three steps. He said in an interview, every action scene would be accompanied by an injury. The female member of the team, Riena Hazuki, played Riddle. At the beginning of episode 22, her character left a letter abruptly leaving the team and going to help on a wildlife reserve in South America. In real life, while filming episode 14, she was injured and through episodes 14 to 19, she wore a scarf to conceal a neck support she was wearing. By episode 19, while her character did not appear on location in a factory for the story's plot, her reaction shot was filmed at an entirely different location. The specifics of the accident are unknown, but her ADR work in episodes 19 and 20 were done by Jetman's Maria. Soon afterwards, she disappeared from the entertainment industry altogether. 
The last on our list is Masato Akita, a suit actor in the 80s attached to JAC, Japan Action Club. Having played the main suit actor for five different Sentai members, while filming XC Draft as the main character, Reda, in 92, Akida jumped down from a platform that was around 15 meters above the ground. However, his neck felt the brunt of the force and he fell unconscious. He had damaged his spinal cord and ever since he has been unable to move from the neck down. We sometimes take for granted what the people who work on these shows go through to make them and how they literally put their health on the line to produce the best product possible, not just for us, but for themselves as well. It's easy for us to forget this when we, the fans, passionately discuss which ones we like or which ones we can't bear to watch another second of. Next time you watch a show, just try to remember the blood, sweat and tears that go into making them and try not to judge them too harshly. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe and if there's a topic you would like to see us tackle, please leave a comment below.